Should you give up becoming a software developer? It's a question that I'm sure a lot of us have asked ourselves. Personally, for me, I've went through that same process when I first started learning how to code and even during my coding bootcamp, it was one of those times where every time I ran into an issue or I couldn't solve a problem, I asked myself, dang, is this right for me? Am I actually going to find a job? And before I tell you what steps you should take, before considering actually giving up, I do just wanna say that it is okay to quit. You probably don't wanna hear that from someone like me who's really wants you to eventually get that job as a software developer and everyone's desire to become a software developer is going to be different. I'm a true believer that you'll have all the opportunity to become a software developer. And there's one thing I wanna mention is that it's okay to kind of give up or quit because software development isn't for everyone. You have to think about this you're gonna be coding for six to possibly even 10 hours a day. Is that something that you can just tolerate? Is that something that you're willing to do? Is that actually going to be fun for you? And it might not be for everyone. So one thing I just wanna start off is to say that don't be worried about quitting this path towards software development because again, it's not for everyone. The second thing I do wanna mention is that a lot of people associate quitting to become a software developer to not being able to find a job. And I do agree in some ways that, hey, you might not have the job yet, but that doesn't necessarily mean you're not a software developer. If you're able to build projects independently, if you're able to solve complex coding problems on your own, then you are a software developer. You just don't happen to have a job and it doesn't show up on your LinkedIn. But don't ever question yourself if you're able to do those things that you are a software developer. And it really is that mindset shift where sometimes you need that validation from someone else to say you're a software developer. But I encourage you to really just look in yourself and say that, hey, I am a software developer. I built this many projects. I have my portfolio. And all I need is that one company to say yes. So try not to associate giving up as a software developer to, oh, I have not been able to find a professional job. You'll definitely get there if you get the right criteria met. And lastly, this is kind of towards everyone in general, but for those of you that kind of given up your job or decided to quit your job to pursue software development, if you find yourself somewhat financially strapped or unable to pay rent because you made this decision to become a software developer, don't feel like a failure if you have to go back to those types of jobs. There's nothing wrong with paying the bills. There's nothing wrong with doing what you need to do to support your family. If you have kids, you got to do what you got to do. But I highly encourage anyone that does decide to kind of go back to their older positions or decides to do part time work don't forget what your ultimate goal is. And that is to learn how to code, learn how to build projects and eventually find that job as a software developer. The one concern that I always have with people that do go back is that ultimately they give up, they get comfortable. Maybe the job does actually pay well. So what's the appeal of going back into coding? Well, when it's really hard, when it doesn't make sense and all of those things. But I encourage everyone to look back and think about those exciting times when you learned how to code, you were building stuff, and that is something that you wanna do on an everyday basis and make it a full-time job. So without further ado, let's go into the steps of what you should consider before really quitting and giving up becoming a software engineer. The first advice I give to you is that learning code isn't enough. What I mean by that is so many people associate learning how to code to somehow magically finding a job. Unless you already have work experience or you have a traditional computer science background, you're gonna to have to put in a little bit more effort into the job hunt. Learning how to code is one type of job and how to start applying to companies is another job and how to prepare for interviews is another job. I usually go over these during my one-on-ones, but so many people are focused on the learning how to code that they don't know how to transition into what do I need to do to make myself more appealing? And that is something that I always encourage everyone to think about is, hey, you can be the best artist or you can be the best basketball player, but if no one knows who you are, you'll never make it into a top-notch museum or in the NBA. I hope you understand the comparison that I'm trying to make is that just learning how to code is not going to be enough. You're gonna to have to know how to optimize your LinkedIn, your resume, your portfolio, your projects and really network and get to know people in the tech community. Because honestly speaking, most jobs are done through affiliates and with an affiliate or someone that you know that can vouch for you, 
it's gonna be so much easier to get into the door. The second advice that I would say to you is time to step back and look at yourself honestly about what have you accomplished and where are you lacking. First of all, you should always celebrate your accomplishments. That is something that I always encourage everyone to do because sometimes you're only thinking about the end goal and you don't think about all the steps that you took to get there, right? But at the same time, you also have to think about your deficiencies. Most people that I work with during my one-on-ones, I really dig into what is wrong. Why aren't you getting hired? And I highly encourage you to evaluate yourself or even ask a friend to look at your profile as a whole. Would you hire yourself? Is my profile good enough for me to want to hire myself, right? One example that I always give is if you have projects but don't have links to your projects and it's actually just on GitHub alone, that is something that's really lacking because you're expecting a recruiter or a hiring manager to essentially go into your GitHub and pull your code down and run it locally. I guarantee you 90% plus probably will not do that. And if you were to compare yourself to someone that just had an easily clickable link to their projects, who do you think that recruiter or manager would choose? Just think about it from the outside looking in and ask yourself, what parts am I not doing well? Is it a coding issue? Are my projects not good enough? Is my LinkedIn even optimized for getting noticed by recruiters, right? These are the types of questions I would ask yourself. And again, ask someone else for help. Get some advice from people on Twitter. There are a lot of great influencers out there that will give you the solid advice. So I really recommend you to just expand your network and try to get that information as soon as possible. Third thing I wanna mention is that effort isn't enough and you need to really work on the parts that you're really lacking. More often than not, I know that there's a strong motivation and effort. It's not about working harder, it's about working smarter. And as cliche as that sounds, it is so true. I know people that have been trying to go through this grind for five to 10 years and they still didn't really get an opportunity because they were just working really, really hard, but they weren't working really smart. For example, I had an interview with one of my clients and he was learning how to code for almost five to 10 years. And when I worked with him, his coding skills were up to par. I know that anybody would want to hire him as a junior developer, but the problem is, is that no one knew who he was, nor did he really highlight his skills. All he was focused on was the code. He put so much effort into building more projects after more projects after more projects, but he never put any effort into the other tangible items like his LinkedIn, his profile, his overall package again want to harp on is that you need to be more smart with the way you do your job hunt you can't just keep building projects hoping lightning will strike and you'll get a job you have to take the initiative and understand how to approach that situation the next thing i want to talk about is again kind of related and they kind of feed off of each other is that you need to show off your work Go on Twitter, go on LinkedIn, share your projects, reach out to recruiters and link out to your portfolio projects. Because if people don't know who you are, you will not get hired. So reach out to people, show them your skills, go to meetups, try to do a talk, even if you feel like you're not ready. 100% recommend people to just get uncomfortable because that is what the job hunt is going to be like. That's what becoming a software developer is going to be like. And eventually, as you get more experience, you're gonna get used to the chaos. You're gonna get used to the uncomfortability. And trust me when I say this, you will get comfortable being uncomfortable. The last thing I wanna mention is keep iterating and keep building off of your wins. You are learning so much in such a short time. And even if it takes you a year or two, you have to think about it from a perspective that certain people have taken four years to get that computer science degree. And in retrospect, the amount of time you're studying is so much less, but at the same time, you're still progressing, right? So keep building off of your wins, never stop improving, and keep adapting your skills to make sure you're working on technologies that make you job relevant. Ultimately, it is up to you to decide like, hey, is this worth it or not? but I wanted to give you some encouragement of things to consider before kind of reaching to that conclusion. Obviously, one thing that I will say is that don't continue this because you've already invested too much time into it. You gotta really enjoy this. And although there are some times that you're going to struggle, you're going to run into issues. I hope you find those moments actually 
exciting and fun because ultimately as software developers, we're just problem solvers. So that's what you're gonna be doing on an everyday basis. Either way, if you made it to the end of this video, I wanna let you know that Tech Rally is back. I'm rooting for you. So keep building developers, your time will come. Bye.